If you strongly dislike or even hate your body because of being overweight, this video is for you. Whether your dislike comes from bingo wings, big belly or thighs or double chin or back fat or maybe all of those, this video will work for you. And towards the end of it, you are going to feel some compassion towards your body and maybe even some love. We are going to use this amazing transformational tool that's called EFT tapping. Hello, wonderful human. My name is Kat and I have been using tapping since 2015, becoming a practitioner in 2021. On this channel, you'll find various EFT scripts, but I particularly like to focus on topics like learning to love your body, weight loss and body confidence. So if you struggle with any of those, I invite you to subscribe. I have used EFT to overcome nearly 30 years of body hatred and now the relationship with my body is so full of love and compassion and that gives me so much freedom and I really want to show you how to get to the same place. So let's do it. I invite you to start. Just close your eyes for a moment if it feels safe. Take a breath in and out. And if it's possible for you, say out loud or in your head, I hate my body. And once you say that, rate the truth of that statement on a scale from zero to 10. So 10, you really despise your body. Zero, no, your body is all right. First number that comes when you say, I hate my body. Take either a, you know, a note on paper or mental note of that number. And we're gonna start tapping on a karate chop point, which is the side of the hand. Remember, the more specific your tapping is, the more effective. Don't be afraid to change my sentences to make them more suitable for you. Use specific names, add, clarify, repeat something that really appealed to you, etc. These videos are just an example. The more specific rounds you create, the better are your results. Remember that your gold lies in a specific tapping. Even though I hate my body. If only my body was different. I could be happy. Everything in my life would be better then. I just do accept how I feel right now. Even though I hate my body. Because at some point in my life, I got a message that something is wrong with my body. And then that message kept repeating over and over from the people outside. And then I started repeating it from the inside. I choose to accept how I feel right now. Even though I hate my body. And from the space of hate, I often punish my body. I punish myself for living in a body like this. And this toxic cycle takes up a lot of my energy. I choose to accept how I feel right now. And I am beginning to accepting myself just as I am. Even though there's a lot of resistance to it. And that is okay. And we're moving to the eyebrow point. If you're tapping with your eyes closed, which I encourage, just keep switching the point every sentence. I hate my body. I really dislike my body. I hate my body. I wish my body was different. I could be happy if my body was different. Everything in my life would be different. If only I had a different body. Not this body that I hate so much. And in the next few points, I'll give you some space to use your own words to speak particularly about the body parts that you have biggest problem with. I really hate my body and especially, and as you move to the side of the eye point, just tell me what is it that you hate, which is the worst part for you. Let's move to the next point and continue telling me which parts of your body have received so much hate from you. 
Next point, continue telling me which parts of you receive the most hate, makes you feel the most uncomfortable. Let's give this one more point. Yeah, move to the next one and just tell me in a few more words which parts do you hate? And let's move to the next point collarbone, take a deep breath in. All this hate towards my body. I am so fat. I hate this. If only I could be skinny, my life would be different. So I keep punishing my body for being so fat and so horrible. I hate looking at myself in the mirror. I don't like seeing pictures of myself. I am just so full of hates towards my body. I am fat. That makes me hate myself. And because I am fat, I feel ugly and unattractive. If only this could be different. And as I'm tapping and speaking about those feelings, it makes me feel really sad that this is the way I address my body. That I speak and think about it in such a way. That I pinch it with hatred. This is really sad. This toxic cycle I just can't get out of. I would like to be able to appreciate my body. But I don't think that is possible. I don't think that would ever happen unless I become skinny. Because I hated my body for so long. I got, when I was young, I got the message that something was wrong with my body. And that message kept repeating itself over and over. And I've internalized it. And that made me hate it. This is so sad. I don't really like hearing myself saying all of those things. If I saw a young girl who was slightly overweight, would I tell her that she's fat and ugly? Would I tell her that she should hate her body? Would I tell her that she doesn't deserve love unless she is skinny? I think not. So I allow myself to connect with the little girl inside of me who once felt this way. And I'm choosing to tell her, even if it's difficult, that she deserves to be loved, that she deserves respect. Doesn't matter what the number says on a scale. Doesn't matter what size clothes she's wearing. She deserves to be loved. And so do I. So I'm choosing to start to let go of some of that hatred. I'm choosing to release this hatred I'm releasing this hatred towards my own body 
from every cell of my being. And I'm releasing this hatred towards my body from every situation in my past where it got stronger. Every situation that made me feel not good enough. Every situation that made me feel less than because of my weight. I'm letting this hate go. And I'm choosing to forgive myself for speaking to myself this way and treating my body as such. I am forgiving myself. And from this new space, I'm choosing to find compassion. And I'm choosing to find acceptance. If I have compassion and acceptance towards myself, that doesn't mean I have to stay overweight. Doesn't mean I'm just gonna stop doing anything. When I actually love myself, it becomes much easier to want to look after myself, to want to change, to want to move my body, to want to eat good foods. It's much easier to do it out of love than as a punishment. Hmm, maybe I never thought about it this way. I am going to live in this skin for the rest of my life. So I would like to be able to appreciate that. So as I'm letting go of this hatred, I'm allowing some appreciation in. Maybe this is showing me that I can change. If I'm already feeling a bit different towards myself and my body, maybe it's possible to change. Maybe I can let this hatred go. Maybe I can find peace within myself. And from that space of peace, continue to lose weight. Continue to move towards my slim and healthy body. It is okay to desire to be slim and healthy. It is okay to desire to be fit and strong. But I don't have to hate myself skinny. I can take loving steps towards that while supporting myself. Yeah, that sounds a lot easier. So I am open to do that. And I'm choosing to support myself in this process. And I'm choosing to know that it's safe to let go of this hatred. It is safe to accept myself. It is safe to begin to love my body. I'm having patience towards myself. I am having compassion towards myself. And I know that is, and I'm choosing to know that it's safe to do so. And you can stop tapping if your eyes are open, close them, take a deep breath in. And out. And let's measure that again. Say out loud, I hate my body. And rate the truth of that statement on a scale from 0 to 10. Notice how you feel, what came up for you. It is always a good idea to make some notes if you've uncovered something. Let me know in the comments if there was a change. We might have just scratched the surface of your problem, but it's a great start. Well done you. And I would love to help you to support you on your 
learning to love your body and your weight loss journey. If you're interested in that, check out the description. you find all the information there. One of the things that could have likely came up while you were tapping is a feeling of shame towards your own body and that is completely natural in this scenario. So I actually have a couple of videos that I address this issue here and there on the screen. I invite you to continue to explore, maybe repeat that tapping and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you for taking the steps to learning to love yourself. Peace.